What's up guys, Chris here from Security Bros, back with another video. And today we are taking a closer look at an interesting PTZ camera from Ink Mega that uses three lenses. Is it any good? Let's find out. So this is the first camera that I've tested that uses three lenses. And how it works is that the camera will record two files, one from the fixed lens using a wide field of view, and then one recording from the pan and tilt lenses, which the camera will automatically switch between depending on what zoom you're using. And I couldn't find any info about what lenses the camera is using, but according to Ink Mega, the camera has a 10 times optical zoom, which I don't think is correct. It should probably be 10 times digital instead, and I would guess maybe 4 times optical between the lenses. Another thing worth mentioning as well is that the camera is advertised as a 4 megapixel camera, but it only records in 1080p, so I guess it's the same as with the last dual lens camera I reviewed, where they just combined the megapixel of the two lenses into one. So two 2 megapixel lenses equals 4 megapixel apparently. The image quality at daytime wasn't the best, so to be able to identify someone or read license plates from the wide angle lens, they probably need to be within 10 meters from the camera. The zoom lens can probably read a plate number up to maybe 30 meters. At night the camera can record in black and white using infrared, as well as in full color using the built-in spotlights, but same as daytime, image quality wasn't that great. The camera can also auto track, and since it records with two lenses at the same time, you won't miss out on anything going on within the camera's field of view. Now the auto tracking isn't the best, but since the camera also records using the wide angle lens, I can see it being useful even though it's not 100% reliable. Okay, so at the moment when I record this video, the camera sells for $72 on AliExpress and $110 on Amazon. And for full transparency to you guys, Ink Mega sent me this camera over for review. However, any opinions in this video are strictly my own, based on my experiences testing this camera out. And if you're interested in buying this camera, you will find my affiliate links in the video description below with the most updated prices. Okay, so the camera records two files, one from each lens in 1080p at 15 frames per second. And as I said before, there is no info about what lenses is being used. And the camera can pan 355 degrees and tilt 90 degrees. And according to Ink Mega, it has a 10 times zoom. And this camera is made to be used with an app called IPC360 Home. And when the camera detects motion, it will send you an instant push notification to your phone. And you can then view the recordings directly in the app from playback, saved on the micro SD card. If you want, you can also use their cloud service, but that's optional. And the camera supports up to 128GB micro SD card. I also tested the camera using OnVIF Device Manager without any problems, so you should be able to connect the camera to most brands NVRs or software that supports OnVIF. And it supports two-way audio, so you can talk and listen through the camera. And this is how it sounds like when I talk through the camera. The camera is made for outdoor use with an IP65 rating, however it's probably recommended to place the camera under some kind of cover, just to make sure it will last as long as possible. So what we get in the box is the camera, power adapter, quick start guide, weatherproof connector cover and a bag with screws. And the app to use is called IPC360 Home, which you can download from Google Play Store and App Store. And when you have the app open, just tap on the plus icon and scan the QR code on the camera and follow the on-screen instructions. So in here we can watch live view from both streams, and the top stream is the PTZ lens, and this is the wide angle lens. So here we can pan and tilt and change the zoom, and on this screen we can quickly pan and tilt by dragging this square, which is quite nice. And in the camera settings they have something called lens matching, where you can adjust the pan and tilt lens to match the wide angle lens. And down here we got split screen, sound, record, capture, full screen, and if we tap on expand we can adjust the volume, talk through the camera, night vision, reset position and turn on the siren. And down here we can access playbacks from the SD card and the cloud. And to access the camera settings we tap up here. In alarm we can turn on and off push notifications. And AI object detection is only available if you subscribe to their cloud service. 
In video we can select what night vision we want to use. In advance we can for example turn on OnViv. In match to lens we get lens matching and we can turn on and off auto tracking. And I think that's about it, so let's have a look at some recordings. This is daytime, recording 1080p at 15 frames per second with audio turned on. And this is using the wide angle lens. And same clip but with both recording side by side. And some pan tilt zoom. And here I test the zoom. This is at night using the infrared lights recorded with a wide angle lens. And some zoom at night. Alright guys, thank you for watching this video, and if you're interested in more videos like this, why not hit that subscribe button and give the video a like, and I see you in the next one.